Hi, for this video, what we're going to do is we're going to use the given graph to find some of the following things. So we're going to be looking for the intercepts, the domain and range, on which interval is the graph increasing, on which interval is the graph decreasing, on which interval is the graph constant, and is the graph even odd or neither. Um, it is possible for some of these not to work. So sometimes your graph doesn't meet any of the conditions. Maybe it doesn't um, have any decreasing intervals or constant intervals, and so you would just put that. So the first thing that we're going to start with are the intercepts. And remember, our intercepts are where it crosses the x-axis. So we can see that it crosses the x-axis at negative 2, 0. I forgot the negative. So negative 2, 0, and also at 2, 0. So if I go over 1, 2, this also happens at 2, 0. The y-intercept is where it crosses the y-axis. So if we go to the y-axis, we can see that it occurs when x is 0 and y is 1. The domain and range, a lot of people get this confused, but domain and range is just um, what do your x and your y values, what values are allowed? So our domain values are always our x values, and so we're going to look for our lowest x value. So we always start from left to right. So for my x values, the first time I hit a point, if I'm moving from negative infinity and I move into here, the first time I hit a point is at negative 3, 1, 2, 3. It includes that point, so I'm going to put a bracket around it. So I'm going to say that it goes from negative 3, and then it continues to move along the x-axis all the way until it stops right here when I'm at 1, 2, 3, 4. So my domain is negative 3 to 4. All values of x from negative 3 to 4 are represented on this graph. As far as the range goes, the range is talking about my y-coordinates. So if we look at my y-coordinates, the lowest point on this graph is negative 2. So that would be my starting point. And then I continue to hit a point all the way up until this point right here, which happens to also be 4. So the domain is my x values go from negative 3 to 4, moving from left to right. And my range is moving up and down. So my lowest point that it hits is negative 2. My highest point is positive 4. When you're reporting the next three, on which interval is the graph increasing, decreasing, and constant, what you do is you record the x-coordinates only because we want to know for what x-coordinates is y increasing. So basically what we're going to look for on the increasing part is we're going to look for the part where it's going up. So we can see that it increases from here to here. And it also increases from here to here. So what we are going to do is we're going to look at the x-coordinates only. So our first x-coordinate is negative 1. We don't include it because that is the turning point. So at negative 1, my graph turned from going um, decreasing to increasing. And then it stops increasing um, when we get to the x-coordinate of 0. We don't ever list the y-coordinates. List only x in parentheses. Okay, so we list only the x-coordinates in parentheses, never the y-coordinates. So for the second one, we can see that it starts increasing again from 2 until it stops at 4. So that would be the next place. These are my x-coordinates. So from negative 1 to 0, it increases. And then again, from 2 to 4, it increases. As far as decreasing goes, on which interval is the graph decreasing? So I'm going to do this one in purple. So we're going to look for decreasing. And we can see that it's going down from left to right here in this interval and also in this interval. Again, we list just the x-coordinates in parentheses. Um, so for this one, what we're going to do is we would start with our x-coordinate, which is 1, 2, negative 3. So we have negative 3 until it stops decreasing when we get to negative 1. At negative 1, it turns and it goes to increasing. And then from negative 1 to 0, um, it's increasing. And then at 0 over to 2, it decreases again. 
On the next one for a constant function, you're looking for a part in your graph that is just a flat line where it stays constant. Your y coordinates stay constant. And if I look up here, there are no places that my graph, it's either decreasing or increasing. So there are no intervals where the graph is constant. So we would just put that there are none. Okay, um, and then the last question it asks us, is this graph even, odd, or neither? In order to be even, it has to be reflected across the y-axis. So that means that if I took this point and I folded it over here, that it would be in the same place. So we can see that it's not, so it's not even. In order to be odd, it has to be reflected across the origin, so it would have to go through 0, 0. And basically, um, the signs of both of them would change. So if it went through 1, 1, it would also have to go through negative 1, negative 1. And if it went through um, 2, 3, then it would have to go through negative 2, negative 3. But we can see that it doesn't do either of those things. So for this one, we can say that this graph is neither. So just to recap, remember that we looked at the graph, domain and range, domain is always my x value, so what's my lowest to the left and what's my highest to the right? The range is lowest to highest, and then we have x-intercept and y-intercept. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please make sure you let me know. Um, if there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.